you're doing a problem on gold. I like gold. I'd like to go over a problem with you involving electrochemistry. Um, I think you're going to love this question. This is exactly the type of question you're going to see on the DAT exam. Oh, and for cool. the whiners and the little crybabies in the group, I'll even hold your hand and show you how I do the math. So come along. Okay, Dr. Romano. Now, the, what I want to do here is says how many amperes are needed to deposit five grams of gold per hour from a solution of gold plus three salt. The way I would start is I would take the gold plus three, and since we're making pure gold, which is AU, you need three electrons to reduce it down. So as you can see, gold plus three requires three electrons to reduce it into solid gold. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna do is to remember when you're doing these, for when you're doing these problems, the formula we're gonna be using is current equals Q divided by T. Now, the first thing we wanna do is I stands for the current, and that's what we want. Q is the charge, and T is the time. Well, per hour, one hour is 3,600 seconds. So that's money in the bank. So the question is, how do we get the charge, which is in coulombs, um, from the amount of gold given? What I did is started with the given, five grams of gold. I look up on the periodic table, the mass of gold is 197. So one mole of gold is 197. Gold, grams of gold cancels out. Now, as you guys can see, there's three moles of electrons for every mole of gold formed. That cancels out moles of gold. And finally, I think the data in the old would give you this number, but 96,500 coulombs is equal to a mole of electrons. So now I got my Q. So what we're going to do here is to multiply the 5 by the 3. Notice 96,500 is roughly 100,000. 197, I round off to 200. I love bopping out zeros. If I take two zeros from here and two zeros from here, that gives me 5 times 3, which is 15, times 1,000, which is 15,000. 15,000 over 2, and I haven't done too much rounding off, so I feel pretty confident that 7,500 puts me very close to the actual value in coulombs. Up goes the formula, I equals QT. I always teach my students to call this the I quit formula. I quit. I equals QT. 7,500 is the Q, which we worked so hard to get. 3,600 seconds. You always got to work in seconds. There I go again, popping out the zeros. So it becomes 75 over 36, which is a little bit more than two. If you look at the choices in the study group, there was nothing even close to two amps. Um, on the dot, nothing will be even close to two amps. So it's around two amps. I hope this helps and gave you a great idea how to go about these problems. I have a lot of more of these questions in the Destroyer book. Crack that book. Make sure you know it. If you got any questions, hit me up in study group. All right, good luck to you. Hey, Dr. Mono, are you afraid of bees? I hate bees. Good Look, idea. there's a big bee's nest right above your head. I don't know if he saw it. Good day to you, sir. Good thing you got out of here.